All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Hollow Knight. So it's actually been a little while since I last played this game, and I will admit, I don't exactly remember where to go, what to do. It's been a long time. Uh, so let's let's start with the easy. Let's pull out the map. Map is okay. Map is here. Double click it. Okay, so we got something in here that I can't. I don't remember how to get to that. I don't even know if I can. We got a little bit of the city over here. We got something about that dreamer. Uh, so we could go down there. Oh, you know what? You know where I, we haven't gone yet? Uh, let's head for the Mantis Village. We've got a tree there. Um, we've also got the sewers, which we haven't been to. It's probably worth doing. I think we've also got some tram stations. I don't know. The other thing I should probably do is uh, sit down and figure out. Oh, let's see if there's anything here. Uh, see if you have anything. Okay, so we've already bought everything from her. Uh, shoot, what am I? What am I doing exactly? I just want to see if there's anything else here. Uh, what I actually should probably do is at this point pull up a map. Okay, yeah, so he has nothing until he finds the key to his cellar, at which point he gets a little bit more. Okay, I I think I should actually pull up a map of where uh, where all the charms are located and how to get them and uh, go back and make sure that I have everything. Let's, let's start with that, honestly. There's a full map, but I don't want to do that. We don't want a speedrun guide. Ah, here we go. Charm collection guide. Okay, 37 different charms, 10 charm notches. Okay. Charm lover, there's a lot of this. This is messy. Okay, ah, but you know what? This actually makes life a little bit easier. Uh, let's stay here for a second, let's pull this up. So, this is actually kind of uh, a bit cheaty. I've got a guide open. Effectively, what I'm gonna do is, so this is charm number six. What are we missing for charm number six? Soul Eater. So between Shaman Stone and, yeah, okay. So Resting Grounds. I don't know, I don't know if we can get to that. Maybe I shouldn't be here. Uh, oh, resting grounds. Okay, so we we should actually be able to reach that. Let's see if we can travel to the resting grounds. Yep. Okay, so what do we what do we got over here? Yeah, I, I want to get away from the uh, stag because he's kind of noisy. Okay. Secret tunnels below the breakable stone coffin. Oh, at the bottom of the spirit tower. Okay. In fact, I actually know where this is. Oh, inspect. Yeah, so we missed we missed this guy uh, a long time ago, I think, and I had to buy the map for here. We're good though, probably. All right. So if I check the map, we want to go to the secret coffin tunnel over here. I think we've got a yeah. We probably don't have anything else we can do. So let's check this area out and stuff like that. I don't know if these guys can attack upwards or anything like that. Okay, so I've turned up sound effects. I might have to turn them down. They're freaking me out a little bit. Oh. We have a treasure chest here. We've also got a caterpillar. I'm not a big fan of this zone. Okay, so... Oh. We've got a thing directly above us. Ow. Well, ah! Okay. Doesn't look like... Doesn't look like these guys do verticality well. Oh, I'm gonna heal one way or another. Yeah, who the hell made the sounds for this game? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to turn down the sound effects. So here's the thing, the reason why I had the sound effects so low is so I could actually listen to the game music. Because the game music in this game is fantastic. And it's like... All the time, and I'm like, nah, I'd like to actually listen to game music, thank you very much. Hi. Right. Hey. Oh, wait. I don't have any soul power. Well, that's fine. Okay. 
So we'll maybe turn it up one more. It takes a little bit to balance this. I don't know. I just don't want to... I don't want to, like, drown myself out. I don't want to drown the music out. In fact, the music is the most important thing to me. Like, it's one of those where I like, um... It's one of those where I like the music... Oh. Oh, I was... I was sliding. I was wondering why I was, uh... Why I wasn't, like, sword hopping off this guy. There's our answer. Okay. Uh, oh, right. This entire area is bats. Begs the question of, this isn't where I want to go, really. Okay, so we're still looking. Soul Eater. Secret tunnels below the breakable stone coffin at the bottom of the spirit tower. In the bottom right, most southeast corner. Okay. So, it might even be in here. So let's just uh, look around for a breakable wall. Yeah, what music? Most of the time there is no music. But sometimes there is actually some pretty good music. Oh yeah, there it is. Probably should have noticed this. Okay. Ah. Wow, it really doesn't want me to go through here, does it? Definitely doesn't want me to go through here. This is, uh... Hello. Alright, so we got Soul Eater now. Awesome, and it's got another one of those weird snail mages. As the, uh... As the... Yep, out. <sighs> Come on. It's got a snail mage as, like, a... I guess the statue behind it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm just tr distracted. I'm trying to get through that, and it wasn't working great. Okay, uh, so let's... What's next on the list? Because I want to get every charm, and this is a good way for me to practice. So, Forgotten Shaman Artifact. Yeah, so a snail sh shaman. Used to draw soul from still living creatures. Greatly increases the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy with a nail. So that's just the upgraded version of... Soul Catcher. Costs two more to use, though. That's a bit tough. We'll see. Okay, so what's the next one on the list? It's immediately after Steady Body. Okay, so immediately after Steady, steady Body is Heavy Blow. Oh, okay, so we can't do that one yet. Uh, steady Blow, we need the Storeroom Key, which is in Crystal, crystal Peak. But I don't think we can do that yet. So the immediate one after that is Quick Slash. Can't get that. Long Nail, we already have. Mark of Pride. Fungal Wastes, Mantis Village. Okay, so there's a, uh, there's a chest in the Mantis Village that we haven't gotten yet. So let's see if I can open up the map. Come on. There we go. Okay, he's just like doing this weird... There we go. No. Open up the map. You lazy creature. Why can't I open up the full map? Whatever. We've got... We can just go here. Okay, so... I'm in the resting grounds. Uh... So, the resting grounds probably brings me to the dreamer. Probably? We could get all the way over there, or we could just go back up to the stagway that, that we take, and I'll just take that one over. That seems probably like the best possible option for the time being. Wonder if that would stack with Soul Catcher. That's an interesting question. Probably. I bet I bet we can stack both uh Soul Catcher and uh Soul Eater or whatever it's called for extra soul power. I'm just not entirely sure if it's really necessary. You get a ton of soul, but you pretty much max it out super fast. So even if I did, what's the point? Okay, uh, you're free soul power. We might as well heal up. Oh, I just realized there's my second, uh, soul meter. I didn't even notice it, but it's, uh, it's that secondary little bubble there. I don't know if it counts fully, though. Well, that's fine. Okay. So let's head for Queen Station, I think. And we'll go from there. Yeah, so I want to collect a thon every single charm we can possibly get. Because I'd like to get another mark and other things. Oh! Interesting. Fury of the Fallen and Fragile Strength. 
Stack multiplicatively. Huh. And Mark of Pride and Long Nail do not stack. Well, okay, yeah. Don't want to go this way. Okay, yeah, so we want to we want to go over here and get out of here and so on and so forth. Um, life is interesting. I think I'm going the right way. Except for we got to go up. It's been a, it's been a while. Like, I, I binged the crap out of this game on launch, and then Horizon Zero Dawn came out and pretty much just nuked every... Horizon Zero Dawn and Breath of the Wild at the same time pretty much nuked any chance that I would have of... Uh, playing a lot of this in any reasonable sense of time. I love this game, don't get me wrong. It also didn't help that I was having uh, copyright troubles. Uh, the... I'm not gonna say the developer, the, uh, the person in charge of distributing the soundtrack for this game uh, decided to go all copyright trolley, and uh, originally it was set up in such a way they were planning on having these guys do this as like a anti, like, Anti-theft, so nobody would put the Hollow Knight soundtrack up on YouTube, which I guess makes sense. You know, it's not it's not an unfair thing for them to want to do that. Uh, the problem is, what happened instead is anybody that had any footage from Hollow Knight uh, got hit by a content ID match for the soundtrack, which sucks, like really bad. Uh, especially because I was like kind of the main person doing it for a while and you know I was kind of hoping I could uh, make the most of it But there was a long period of time where I was making like nothing from this And that was that was definitively kind of sad. It wasn't a big deal, but it was just like oh Come on. Don't do this to me. This is my favorite game, and I don't want you to ruin it All right, uh, so we want to we might as well dream nail this one I'm not exactly too interested in getting Dream Essence right now. I'm not even sure why we're collecting the Dream Essence, ac actually. Like, the one, the Prophet, or whatever her name was, was kind of vague on, like, why. She's just like, you want to do this, and I'm like, do I? Alright. That was, oh. Okay, we don't want to leave. Can't believe I took I'm taking damage on one of these guys. Probably should have done that. Okay, and we're done. Oh, easy peasy. Oh yeah, these usually say something. Proud warriors, honor bound. Okay, so that's about the same thing. Let's get out of here. Yeah, piracy is the, piracy is inevitable. Don't even try and fight it. I can respect them for kind of trying to mitigate it, mainly just because, like, it kind of sucks to have other people undercutting you, sort of. It's just one of those where it's like... I don't know. I guess it seems like it's kind of a moot, moot situation. Oh, right, the birds don't even come to murder me. I, I know they're not birds. They just hang out. Man, this is a weird feeling. Being in an area where nobody's going to attack me. I could kill them for profit if I really wanted to. But that'd be the dick thing to do. Okay, so there's a charm somewhere in here. I just don't know where. A lot of people are like, go to the Mantis Village. And I'm like, freaking, I don't know where to go in the Mantis Village. I also fell down the wrong hole. Okay, so let's just check around for the time being. There's, it's, it's a chamber somewhere around here. Apparently, we unlocked it for beating the uh, the mantis lords. I just don't know where. Not over there. Maybe it's like down or around or up somewhere. Yeah, if anybody else has played this and knows knows where I should be going for this, let me know. Cause yeah, this is where the man mantis lords are. And they bow for me, but this isn't it. Um, oh! Wait, hold on. We have a whole s extra bench here? Oh, that must be it. Is 
It's got to be, like, maybe this over here? Can I can I reach it from here? Yeah, I can. So this is this has got to be it around here. Yeah. I don't think I've been here before. Yep, here we go. So we got a big old treasure chest with a hollow nest seal. Dang it, that's not what I'm looking for. Big old chest with a crap ton of money. Yeah, a lot of people were telling me the banker ran away with my money, so I guess we've all but confirmed it. Not that it really matters, though. I am crazy wealthy right now. And it will only get wealthier as we go along, considering I'm not really spending a whole lot of money anymore. We got the Mark of Pride. Is that... Okay, that's the thing we're looking for. Okay, let's re read it. It actually... I should probably read every one of these. Freely given by the Mantis tribe to those they respect greatly increases the range of the bearer's nail, allowing them to strike foes from even further away. Ooh. That's kind of nice. And we get a free bench. Hey. Yeah, so this is a whole area that we'd never been to before. Uh, and I didn't recognize that. Okay, so where's the next where's the next one? Third row. Should probably figure out uh pull it up. Okay, so we got the boulder shell and then two blanks. So we got fluke nest. Royal Waterways. Okay, so we haven't been to that yet. Uh, and the one after that is... Defender's Crest. Also Royal Waterways. Okay. We've done Glowing Womb. We've done... Quick Focus. Yeah? Okay, so the next one's Deep Focus. Is in the Crystal Peak. Okay, can't do that yet. We have Lifeblood Heart. Lifeblood Core. The Abyss. Okay, haven't been there yet. And... We've got the last one. Okay, so... Last row. So we already have Grub Song. Uh, Grubber Flies Effigy. I have to rescue all 40 Grubs. Uh, let's see. Immediately after that is Hive Blood. The Hive. Bottom right, southeast corner. Have I been to the Hive yet? I don't think I've been to the Hive yet. There's the Beast's Den. Howling, Howling Cliffs. No, we haven't been to the Hive yet. Might be something to do with this area over here. Okay, so we can't do that. Yeah, there are spoilers, but like, it's just area names and whatever. Okay, so no on Hive Blood. Spore Shroom. Okay, so I've done that one before. Sharp Shadow. Deep Nest. Right next and underneath southwest of the tram station. I don't think we have the ability for it, though. We need something called Shadow Cloak, which is an ability that I don't think I own. Oh, I'm also missing one of the trainers. Well, I'll have to look at that later. Yeah, we got the Mothwing Cloak, but we do not have the Shadow Cloak yet. We've actually got a fair amount of stuff that I haven't done yet. Okay, so can't do Sharp Shadow. Huh. Shape of Un. Is Lake of Un behind beneath the lake itself? In a dead end given when interacting with Un? Question mark. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out everything else, and then the other ones. Okay, so actually the only thing left for me to do, given what I have, uh, we gotta go to the waterways, but we also go, gotta go back to Green Path to get to the Lake of Un. Because apparently there's a, uh, there's a thing there. Okay, so how do we, uh, I, I really wish I hadn't rested here. I mean, the other option is the, the one of the Deep Nest. But that's, uh, that requires, uh, Sharp Shadow to even get. Okay.
So, yeah, let's get out of here. Do we go back up to the green path? What What's easier for me to get to right now? Because getting to the waterways... Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go to the waterways. That's way closer. At least as far as I can tell, given the situation. Because, yeah, we want to go... There we go. Good. We did go the right way out of here. Yeah, since all the mantises are, are super, uh... Since all the mantises are, are super, well, friendly now, they, they won't touch me. They won't even bother me. Uh, I can just zip through this entire area and we're gonna drop down. It's kind of pleasant. Ow. Okay, maybe not. Mostly pleasant, as long as I don't stupid. Okay, I want to say... Ah, shoot. I want to say you... I, I thought... Oh, no, no, no. We keep going. All right, well, rest of this this one. We'll just keep going. Let's see, was there a spider boss or spider enemies? There was a spider... A uh, bunch of spider enemies. But I haven't, uh, haven't gotten to them yet. I don't think I ever actually properly dealt with this area. Maybe I did. I don't know, but this is how we get to the royal waterways. What was the deal with this statue again? Dash faster, dash further, dash forever. Oh, that's Dash Master. That's where we get uh, the Dash matter Master charm. Duh. Oh, crap. Bad news, Bearskis. This, um... This does not actually get us to the Royal Waterways like I'd like it to. I've also got this guy. You know what? Do we want to... Do we want to check out to see if I, I can do this area now? Let, let's check this area out. It looks like I can get through it. Maybe it will uh, unlock as we go along. Like, we've got these weird stanky mushroom men. Which are pretty easy to deal with. Mostly. I'm really curious. Oh, that's how that works. Okay. Well, I got it. Maybe it wasn't worth it, but I got it. I think I needed dash last time, and I don't think I had it. Well, this is... This is hard. Ow. Wow. Okay. I think we'll be fine. Just gotta time your jumps well and make sure you don't spike yourself horribly. I wonder if Dash Master would actually be easier or harder. Oh, please, don't leave me behind. You forgot about me, I knew you would. Everyone always forgets about me. Oh? Who are you? Your face, you're so, so. I'm sorry, I got lost. I don't know how I ended up here. I, you came to rescue me. Bretta, the girl that everyone just ignores? Sorry, when I look at your face, I can hardly... I just can't believe you came all the way down here to rescue me. I didn't thank anybody. I'm sorry. I mean, thank you. I mean, I better go. Back to town, I mean. I better get home. Thank... thank you. Bam. Okay. Alright, there we go. Now I'm recording. For whatever reason, my record hotkey wasn't working. I've actually lost a recording or two recently, just because the record- uh, the stream button hasn't- or not stream, the recording button hasn't been working. And... I just- I thought I missed it, but there's a real possibility that I've actually just been screwing it up this entire time. Okay, so let's just take the manual route to the City of Tears. It's about the same amount of time. Uh... As if I... As if I walked back to the, uh, the tram and took it the right way. Maybe I should probably go around and open up some of the doors, maybe? But, eh, we'll figure it out. Okay. Let's go. What's with his face? He looks fine. I... I mean, honestly, as far as I'm concerned, Hollow Knight is incredibly creepy. Oh, wait, crap. No, we can't go to the City of Tears this way. We have to go back to the tram. Like, imagine... Like, okay, so you guys have seen, like, Dark Souls and stuff. 
presumably, I, I assume a number of you guys have seen Dark Souls along the way, and like, kind of how those games play out and stuff. But like, the main character, the the protagonist in, in Dark Souls, is always just a little bit off-putting for me. Because he's this like, weird undead dude. He's this like, weird undead dude that is more or less just hell-bent on killing everything he comes across. Or she. I'll be inclusive here. Um... It's more or less true of, like, this character, because we're not Hollow Knight. We're not the Hollow Knight, because the Hollow Knight, uh, it's been established is dead elsewhere. Um... And, like... So, who are we? Because we don't talk to anybody. We're just this, like, silent dude that just kind of creeps through. And from what I can tell, uh, we're really, like, not quite doing the the right thing. Like, according to Hornet, uh, it's probably best that we actually leave everything well enough alone. Uh, because at least it keeps everything stable, in a way. Whereas, like, what we're doing is effectively going in and just murdering everything, we're going to go kill the dreamers, we're going to more or less shake this entire city up for better or worse, and like, who knows that the, uh, who knows what's like waiting at the bottom of all of this. Probably not exactly good things. Character being creepy goes with me, most main characters. You're probably not wrong. Let's go up to Dirtmouth for a second and see if Breda has anything for us. Um, but like... I want to say the character in this one's even more creepy, because, like... In Dark Souls, there was generally no one to talk to beyond, like, a little bit here and there. But in this game, you have a lot of NPCs that kind of talk at you. That young li lovely young lass returned to us. I must admit, I placed thin odds on her survival. Seems to think very highly of her rescuer. Some sort of dashing warrior type. Barely stopped gushing since she got back. The warrior must have passed down passed down below while I was taking my nap. Such a shame. I'd have loved to meet so, uh, so impressive a bug. Okay. Let's see. So the entry of the kingdom was forbidden long ago, supposedly after some great calamity. Many gates were closed, but our old well remains as a way to creep back in. Over the years, all kinds use the well to wriggle into the runes. Wanderers, thieves, and adventurers. Funny how few ever come back up. Perhaps they find what they're looking for. Bah, I'm not so naive. No doubt, they've all been gobbled up. There are countless dangers in those depths. Okay, sorry for not voicing act voice acting. I was just like, is this new? Is this not new? So I have no idea where Breda is. Oh, hey. This is probably Breda's, Breda's place. Well, we get a fraction of the mask, so one more and we get another heart piece. That's nice. The white savior, the maiden woke in darkness, confused she reached out. Sharp brambles jabbed at all sides, burning acid bubbled close below. What nightmare had led her here? What hope of survival remained? Doomed she thought herself, and to despair she fell, until the light bloomed far in the distance, a bright glowing spot, fast approaching. It swept majestic about the thorns, leapt above the burning waters and dove towards the maiden. Coming close, the form revealed at last, a beautiful being, sharp horns gleaming white. Arms reached out for the damsel, gathering her up, grip firm. Oh. Can we keep reading? Nope. So she... Oh wait, that's her sleeping in the bed behind us. So she's, she's just passed out, we just stole her possession and then read her journal, and she's got a little cute little uh, Hollow Knight plushie. Yeah, we might have... I don't know if we've got a Yandere or just a fangirl that writes uh, erotic fanfiction about us. Which is kind of weird. Uh... I mean, I'm not going to complain too much, but it is... it's amusing. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to head back to the City of Tears. We're going to go into the, uh... We're going to go into the... The waterways, because apparently we've got two charms down there, plus other stuff. And so we might as well check check that out. See what kind of goodies we can get down there. I'm I'm halfway tempted to 
I'm actually halfway tempted to go for the resting grounds first. Yeah, let's go there, because we can get to the uh, waterways through this area over here. I want to see if I can uh, connect the areas. So let's go to resting grounds. And we'll try and go, um... We'll try and unlock a couple of shortcuts here and there, just to make my life a little bit easier. I wonder if I have enough, uh... I probably don't have enough. I was like, do I have enough to get another notch? But I don't think so. We also should look up where we get all of the uh, notches along the way. Okay, so we want to stay away from these horrors. I think I can just bypass every single one of them on the way out of here. That's actually kind of hugely convenient. They're not terrible, but... I am lazy. Oh yeah, there was that one... Here, let's go directly to the left for a moment. Oh, right. That's why I didn't fight that. Uh, that's why I haven't been that, been that direction. There's that guy. Now, I could probably fight him. It just might take a little bit of effort. Or I could be really lazy and let's just explore down here. I want to find the arena so we can get the, uh, the pale ore or whatever it's called. I don't think those guys are supposed to harm us. And yet... I suck at things. So this is the n weird nobility. Or... I don't know, these are the actual residents of the City of Tears. Sort of. Bizarre. Okay, so we want to go down. Summon the elevator. That might. Oh! That just gives us a w way around without, uh. That just gives us this really easy way around momentarily. Okay, so we got a uh, whole heck of a lot of stuff. Uh, let's see. Is there anything particularly productive here? Nope, guess I'm gonna actually have to take the elevator around. Ah! Okay, let's go up. There's a lot of guards in here. Not a big deal. Oh, I... I am taking a ton of damage. Bam. Nope. Not bam. Bam! When in doubt, that works. Okay, let's heal back up. This was- this was a bit hurty. 